In one of my last videos, I talked about the big warning signs that a 2020 recession is about to come up. And in this video, I want to talk about how I really plan in really capturing and getting those investing profits while the market is in a downturn. You see, if you were in 2008, were to get crushed by the market, you'd lose like 30% of your portfolio. However, if you missed that big drop and started investing while it was going down and then started investing and capturing those profits and earnings as the market was going back up, you could not only get that 30% market upturn, but then also get that additional 30% market upturn in the next year. You know, when you start buying stocks at a discount, when everything's on sale in a recession, you can really turn your portfolio around. So in this video, I want to go over my portfolio strategy on how I personally plan to invest my investment portfolio and see if I can make a little bit excess returns over the market from doing this little cute investment strategy. Hi, my name is Fly Stewie. This is the Uneducated Investor Podcast. This is where we mix investing with pop culture. Feel free to drop a like because it really beats that YouTube algorithm, helps the channel grow, and we, Flight Crew, let's get better at investing together. Fun fact, did you know that eight out of the last 11 recessions happened in the first year a president was elected? Now think about the year 2000 and think about George Bush, think about the year 2008 and think about Obama, and think about this year of 2020 when we could see a new Democratic president take office. But every time there's a new election year, and of course the list of reasons I listed in my last recession video, I get a little bit nervous and I wanna make sure my portfolio is optimized to survive a market downturn. Now there's really five main categories that I want my portfolio to lay under when it comes to investing. So in this video, I wanna talk about the stocks and I wanna talk about the areas of basically that I want to invest my money in to make sure that we can like really survive a market downturn. Now, of course, I'm not an investment advisor, so this is essentially for entertainment purposes only, but let's start a conversation about how we can really stop our portfolios from being getting annihilated by a recession. So we're gonna do this by portfolio allocation, and one of the first areas I wanna start looking out is in gold. Now, some people see gold as an inflation hedge. Some people see it as a market hedge. And essentially, gold has no intrinsic value, somewhat similar to money. So you might think of gold just as another currency. However, you know, there's companies that gold do gold mining. There's people who just buy gold accessories and gold jewelry. Gold essentially does a great job of holding its value and actually going up in the market over time. So one of the assets I'm really starting to look at is this one called GLD. This is essentially, GLD is essentially an ETF that just looks to mirror the performance of gold. And in general, it goes up around 7% every year, which is really good when the market, considering the market goes up like eight to 9% every year. 7% is really good and it's a non-cyclical stock, so it's not gonna necessarily follow the business cycle trends that we see of the stock market. So when the stock market is going down, hopefully this GLD either stays the same in price or it actually goes up and captures that 7%. So I'm looking to put just this specific ETF around 10 to 15% of this ETF and maybe in some sort of other gold mining company, but this GLD is the one of the main ones I'm looking at. Now, the second asset class I really want to start putting my money towards is REITs, or they're known as Real Estate Investment Trusts. Now, this is just essentially investing in a company that owns lots of beautiful, luscious, delicious real estate. And what does real estate do? How do a really great job in doing? producing those beautiful cash flows. So essentially you are investing in real estate without the headache of trying to manage tenants or find tenants or sell properties or sell the house. Now again, these are somewhat non-cyclical stocks. They don't necessarily go up when the stock market goes up and goes down when the stock market goes down, but they pay super high dividends. And the great thing of course with dividends is even if the stock price drops, and you're getting $5 per every share of that stock you own, if the stock price goes from 100 to 50, you will still get that $5 
per share that you own, which means holding that stock through a recession makes sense because you're not necessarily going to lose that delicious dividend that you've been being paid. So I want around 10 to 15 percent of my portfolio in REITs. Two of them that I'm really starting to look at is VNQ. You know, shout out to my dudes at Vanguard. They're doing a great job in producing these nice little stocks for us to own. And of course, I'm really liking MPW. Now, they are a medical properties trust which is a self-advised real estate investment trust formed to acquire and develop net leased hospital facilities. Now, what I really like about these healthcare REITs is the fact that they really do well in a recession because, you know, some people, they might necessarily move to a different area when a recession comes to lower their rent costs. So, you know, maybe that's a worry that some people have. They can't necessarily fill their house in a recession. When it comes to these medical properties, whether that's, you know, a retirement home or the such people who are sick or people who are in like retirement homes, they're not necessarily going to move when a recession happens. Think about it. if you pay for your grandma's retirement home, you're not going to move your grandma because, you know, they're doing great in this environment. They have friends in this medical home just because, you know, it's a harder financial times doesn't necessarily mean this is an area that a lot of people are looking to save money in. They're just going to continue to pay whatever funds to live there. That's why, in my opinion, healthcare REITs such as MPW, I think are an absolute gold mine. And this year they're doing over 20 percent returns, absolutely destroying the market. And at the same time, paying a 5 percent dividend. MPW is a company that a lot of people really should check out. Now, when it comes to these high dividend stocks or tied dividend ETFs, I want to really put around 10 to 15 percent of my portfolio in this allocation. High dividend, low volatile ETFs or stocks. These are absolutely great because essentially, once again, you can hold it through a recession and you'll still get that magical, beautiful, delicious dividend that we love so much here at the flight crew. One of the main ones in my portfolio is SPHD. Phenomenal company, great dividend. I think they own some McDonald's and some AT&T, I believe. Absolutely beautiful company. You should check it out. However, I'm starting to think that I should check out other high dividend um, ETFs. So I want to do my more research on VYM. And of course, the one with the stock ticker DIV. This is a crazy one that pays like an 8% dividend, but they basically their stock price just goes down and down year to year to year. So high dividend, low volatility ETFs, I think could be a really powerful way to go. Now, currently, I have a lot of my portfolio just in pure stocks, especially these big tech companies. So I still want to have around 20 to 30 percent of my portfolio in stocks. However, I'm going to accomplish this by doing two things, whether that's going to be selling some of my stocks when they're starting to reach these high points. I want to sell off a bit more and I'm just going to hold my stocks through the recession and just invest more money as my money is coming in. I'm putting in more money every month. I'm going to invest some of that money in these other basic uh, asset classes that I can go to. Some of the stocks, though, that I want to start transferring my portfolio to are the ones that really most of their return is through capital gains, but they do pay somewhat sort of a little dividend. So those are companies that I really like right now is, of course, Disney. Disney looks amazing. Um, I'm really a fan of this Disney Plus package. I think they're going to do damage because a lot of those people who are invested in their Marvel hit TV shows and their Disney movies like Lion King, um, they're going to love the sort of content that they get when they get that package. I'm also a big fan of Apple. I think Apple is ingenious as locking people in their ecosystem. In one of my last videos, I talked about why I'm actually getting an Apple phone. And one of the big reasons is that I want to understand Apple products more and to get a phone, that's that's one of the best ways to really do it. Become a customer is one of the best ways to really understand being an investor. So uh, I'm really excited that he have a huge cash in their inventory. And I think they're just ready to do damage in the recession and buy all these companies that are on sale. I also like Microsoft. Microsoft, again, pays a little bit of a dividend. I really like what they're doing with Mixer, and I think they're about to absolutely destroy it on LinkedIn. And of course, every single business, every single computer you see has the Microsoft operating system Windows. So of course, they're just a sound company who's been through the test of time. Now, my holdings before were Facebook. You know, I made a big killing on Facebook and Amazon. These were my major holdings before. So I'm trying to like slow off on them. Like Amazon, I got a huge position. I kind of want to sell some of it 
even though it's at such a juicy underpriced price right now these companies that pay no dividend i, I think they're gonna go even lower during a recession and i'm like i could get a better return or hold my value with a different company for now and then buy these companies back when they're more on discount so um these companies are companies i think are going to destroy it in the long term but right now might not be the best time to hold them so i'm kind of looking to offload them as the market goes up and down up and down before a recession actually happens and my last asset class and this is probably my biggest one and the biggest secret to really you know kill it in a recession and this of course is i want to have anywhere from 30 to 45 percent of my portfolio in just cash Now, this is going to be accomplished, as I said before, from just selling some of my stocks. And when I invest money into my portfolio, sometimes I'll just leave it there in cash and they'll just be my savings that I have every month. Now, the reason why this is, is as the market drops, I do want to be able to still buy up some of the markets and I don't want all my money tied up in stocks while everything's starting to go on discount. Also, I have a portfolio mix of Canadian and US dollars. This allows me to kind of play the market a little bit there, whereas the US dollar is really high, I can start to offload to Canadian dollars. As the Canadian dollars get really high, I can start offloading to US dollars. This kind of provides an additional bit of income or additional bit of return that I wouldn't normally get. In all in all, these five asset classes that we really have here, I think do a phenomenal job and will do a phenomenal job performing in a recession. Of course, really, this is a discussion. Let me know if you like my picks or if you've been thinking about investing in some of these um, yourself. Let me know if you disagree. I'm really just looking at what other people are doing, seeing what they're doing, seeing if, you know, I have similar thoughts with other people. When it comes to investing, I kind of take a very more laissez-faire, a more relaxed, passive approach and really think about it from a very stand back sort of distance to say you know what without digging too much in this company taking not overthinking it is this company a good idea for example if you were just to invest in microsoft or amazon or one of these companies back in the past they're so obviously going to grow you know you didn't have to be a research analyst at goldman sachs to know that facebook was going to be a big company so me just taking that simplified investing approach I think is a good way to invest my pat my big amounts or my um my wealth as it starts to accumulate. So again, leave a comment if you agree with these stock picks or what are some great stock picks that you think will do great in a recession yourself. And as always, the best, most brightest investors are the uneducated ones. Why is why is why is that? flight crew is because the best most brightest investors they never stop learning remember to hit a like and subscribe because of course these videos take a long time to make and we flight crew we have to take off i will see you in the next one